My career has been based on an understanding, one, that as a prosecutor, my duty was to seek and make sure that the most vulnerable and voiceless among us are protected, and that is why I have personally prosecuted. Should I put this in my pocket? Yeah. Not outside. I have personally prosecuted violent crime that includes rape, child molestation, and homicide. And I have also worked my entire career to reform the criminal justice I was uh, born and raised Catholic. All my relatives were Catholic. I believed in God. That was my life. I was accepted to Salesian High School, which to me was an honor. Almost immediately after I got to the high school, I was befriended by the uh, vice principal, uh, Father Steve Whelan. The very first incident, I was playing pool and he masturbated in front of me. And I was scared to death. I stood there frozen. I was just a little 70 pound runt. I looked across the room and I thought, geez, I need some help. And Brother Sal Belanti was watching and enjoying it. And later I found out he was a serial molester rapist himself. When he got out of the PE to go into the showers, he would watch me. He would make comments about me undressing. And then he started calling me into his office and telling me uh, I was bad in class and what am I gonna do for him? And then he would attack me. He would stick his hands down my pants. He would, uh, he would just molest me. And then he would tell me if uh, anything happened, nobody would believe my word against the priest. And I believed him. This escalated. He started getting more violent and more rough. And um, the very last time he attacked me, he dragged me into the room. I actually blacked out and floated away while he was molesting and raping me. I just gave up on Catholicism. I gave up on God. I lost all sense of spirituality. I went with another victim to Terrence Hallinan's office, the DA's office in San Francisco, and uh, we were introduced to Hallinan and another a DA's assistant who told us they virtually had all these boxes and like a room full of files uh, that they had gathered and collected and subpoenaed uh, from the Diocese of San Francisco and all these priests. Bishop Levada at that time was the highest ranking bishop in the United States. Then he became cardinal. So this was the top guy. This was the kingpin in the United States. And we had a champion here that was going to go after him. We thought, well, this is going to go somewhere. These guys are going to be punished. They're going to be held accountable. Uh, they're going to be prosecuted. 38-year-old Kamala Harris came out of nowhere and was swept into office as San Francisco's district attorney. Uh, in 2004, uh, Kamala Harris was elected. Everything just went down the tubes. I started out by writing a letter asking for some help or some uh, accessibility to the file, I didn't get any response. So then we made posters and started putting them all over the city, and we got no response. Several media members were also asking for files and stuff, and they were getting nothing. So in 2010, uh, there was a big article in San Francisco Weekly, and uh, they were pestering her office, and then what they got was this uh, false statement that they were protecting victims. It's just a flat-out insult. She could have redacted the names, uh, blacked out the names and left them out. Everything he did to gather information and to try and prosecute and go after them disappeared and went the other way. She shielded and protected them, and we were just, we were floored at what happened. We also want to make sure that when a woman is raped, a child is molested, one human being is killed by another human being. We also want to make sure there's going to be consequence and serious consequence for those crimes. Her um, participation in going after clergy or, or predators of the Catholic Church or bishops who had enabled these people was less than zero. I 
I would like her to produce one clergy abuser or one bishop that she's even tried to prosecute. I'd like to hear it.